Hello everybody, <laughs> I am with George Taylor of OnTrack Audio. I am going to ask him a question that I have for a long time, but I never asked them. And now today, I'm going to ask him in front of a camera so you can hear his answer too. So, how many years we have been working together? That's not the question, by the way. That's just the prelude of the question. What year is it? 2024? Well, I think so. Last time yeah, I checked. So 25 years. Okay, 25 years. Approximate, we, at least approximately 25 years. Yeah. And I know how you listen when I give you any kind of prototype, feasibility prototype, beta tester, production prototype. You always give me a very detailed report. I try to. My question to you is how you listen and how you judge a piece of audio equipment. Okay. That's uh, that's a that's a really complicated question. Well, I know, so we're not going to we're, so we're not going to I mean I, and here's the other thing too. I'm I've been lucky to have to do this evaluate stuff every day. I evaluate things every day. I've been I've been evaluating things for the last 35 years because if it's not evaluating audio equipment, I've been evaluating individual musicians, yeah. I've been evaluating yeah. my own playing, I've been evaluating bands and cuts. So so I have to, I do this probably a lot different than anybody, but I will tell you, here's 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 the thing that I think is important. I'm going to tell you what I think are some areas where I see people come in here and I don't think, I think they fail to listen to things properly and they don't get, they don't, they're unable to evaluate a piece of equipment properly when they come here in a short period of time. Because when I beta test for you, I've got months. Yeah, but that, but that we, we, we're not going for that because right. that's a special case. Yes. Right. And and it's, it's like it's like I know I know you you very a student. Yeah. And sometimes they're really bad, really 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 bad. So we're not doing that either. So so if you're gonna evaluate a piece of audio equipment, it gotta be at some some sort of level. So it's like it's really bad yeah. there. Yeah. And really super good there. Yeah. And when you buy something, you're not comparing there and there. You're comparing somewhere in between. Right. And and this somewhere in between is not not always good or bad. It's always. There's a lot of difference. Yeah, difference. And and the other thing too is you've got a limited time, right? I mean, you you have half an hour or an hour, an hour and a half maybe, and yeah. after that, your brain starts to send you mixed messages, and you you need to stop listening for a while, because it's hard to listen critically for an hour and a half straight unless you're used to doing that. Yeah, and that's your yeah mastering engineering. That's right. Mixing, yep. recording, engineering. Yeah, it, if you're a master in engineering. If you're if you're if if you're doing that sort of thing, you're just getting warmed up after an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so I I've made a few things. I made a few points here um, that I think are valuable. And you know, some of them you'll disagree with. I'm sure some of them you'll agree with, but you're already doing some of them. And and you know what? What I'd love to hear um, after uh, uh, in the comment section is I'd love to, I'd love to hear suggestions that you have that for other people. Yeah, because because I mean everybody's got some different everybody's got different ideas and a lot of I'm I'm sure there's some people that would bring some interesting ideas to the table in terms of short term listening. But here are the things I do, and here I, these are some of the mistakes I know mistakes that I know I made when I first started listening to audio gear. So in no particular order, first of all, you really kind of need to use music that you're going to consume at home. Right, you you need to listen. To, I mean, if you're if you're a Pink Floyd fan, then, listen to Pink Floyd. Yeah, then listen to Pink Floyd. You know, if you're if you're a, a bebop fan, then listen to listen to recordings that you are going to consume at home. It's it's a waste. Of your, it's not a waste of your time. And you know, I'll I'll explain that in a, a couple points down from here. But you really need to make sure that you're paying attention to music you listen to because you're not going. You may not. You may get somewhere and somebody will play you a, a demo piece of music and you're, you'll be sitting there thinking, well, that sounds really great, you know, you know? but that's not something you'd normally listen to at home. And if, if it's not in your listening rotation, then, you know, 
you need to listen to stuff that's in your listening rotation to evaluate a piece of equipment. And so, may, I, may I add one point? Absolutely. And don't be intimidated by the dealer that they are trying to tell you that you should listen to this. Yeah. No. I, I actually had one dealer do that with, a, with Martin Logan speakers. You know, the, I was not enjoying the sound, and this gentleman told me that, well, I really had to improve and expand on my listening tastes as a, as a developing audiophile, that was part of what I needed to do. And I'm sitting there, sitting there like thinking, you know, I've got, I've got a bachelor of education in music performance. I've got, I've got a teaching degree. I'm already pretty well-rounded musically. So I kind of like at this point, I kind of know at this point what I like and I don't like. So please don't tell me I have to listen to opera. And by the way, your speakers sound bad. And, and since, <laughs> and since he has owned my Logan, I have owned multiple pairs of Martin Logan since yep. you brought up the name, so I gotta say this, as we have owned multiple pairs of Martin Logan, I still currently own multiple pairs of Martin Logan, and they all sound good. Yeah. So, so is, 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 is it really the speaker sound bad, or does the setup sound bad? Oh, the setup sounded bad. Yeah. Yeah. I won't, I won't go on and mention any, anything else about the setup, but... Yeah, the speed, the setup sounds. But the, but the point is, do and, not intimidate you, by the dealer tell to yeah. tell you what you should listen or how you should listen. And you know what, it was the Eon, and that to me wasn't a great speaker. Okay. I didn't think it was a great speaker. I really liked the Ascent. Yeah. The Odyssey was okay. The Prodigy was good. Yeah. CLS two Z was awesome, but it needed reinforcement if you really wanted bass. Yeah. But it was the Eon, and he was playing really shrill opera, and it was it was horrid. It was, and, and I told him it was no. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not my musical taste. That, that that doesn't sound right with this. Yeah, and and yeah. By, and by the way, beside beside the setup, I when I judge a piece of equipment, a lot of times I don't sit in front of a speaker. Yeah. I do this. Yep. Yep. And speaker like right behind me. Yep. And if it sounds good, it sounds good. Yep. So now you're getting bonus material because that wasn't one of my eight points. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So second of all, and this is this I could have this is two. I could have called it one B. Um, unless you listen to quote unquote audiophile music, okay. And I mean, I did the, I did the Toronto audio show. Oh, I don't know how many years ago it was, but somebody somebody posted on a forum about how people were always in the in how the demo, how the exhibitors were always playing female vocal in the rooms because it doesn't screw up easy well but wait a second even before that on the last day of the festival on the last day of the festival the last day of the um, the audio show, show the audio show thank but, you yeah. i well, it wasn't the guy, the the comment was made a couple of days after so just out of curiosity because i was a little bit Curious myself, right? I marked down. I didn't. I didn't mark down exactly what people did because I didn't have time for that. But I, I had a couple of categories, and one of them was female vocal. And over sixty-five percent of people, when they came in the room, requested female vocal. I never do. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to hear. I mean, look, female vo people demonstrators play female vocal because. It's sim it's fairly simple music. It suits a lot of speakers. Like most speakers will play female vocal stuff, like you know, Diana Krall, Holly Cole, um, Nora Jones. They'll play that stuff and make it sound really good, because it's fairly simple music. There's not, I mean, it's not like it's not like it's not well played. It's not like they're not good performers, but it's fairly simple for an audio system to handle. So it's not going to make any mistakes, and it's not going to turn you off. And let's face it, at, at an audio show, dealers are trying to give you a good impression of their equipment. So they're going to play the music that sounds the best possible. Um, I do that too. Although I try to play, I try to balance it towards music I like, and I try to have a variety. And I try to avoid, I do try to avoid female vocal because it just, it's not, it's not what I listen to. So... If you don't listen to Diana Krall, don't, if you can possibly help it, don't audition stuff with Diana Krall. Unless you, unless you want to expand your horizons, 
don't 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 listen to that you know yeah listen to again back to point one listen to what you listen yeah i bring in chuck manjoni and you know some chuck manjoni recordings are horrible yep. i don't care that's why i'm listening so if you if anybody tell you that those recordings are horrible it won't show you what the system sounds like great that's not your system <laughs> remember that if anybody tell you that your music sounds bad walk away yep yep next thing um i, I think it's important to listen to a variety of music um, I think most people do listen to a variety of music, but I mean, don't don't come in and don't don't wander in and just play solo guitar. Don't wander in and just have them play blues, unless again, uh, unless that is your music and ninety percent of your listening is blues. I gotta have blues. Play me blues, please. I want to hear blues because that's what I'll do all the time. Well, then play blues. Absolutely play yep, blues. Fine system. It sounds great in, on, yeah. on blues. Because, you know what? There are systems. I mean, you can build a system that will work for a few certain focus types of music. And if that's what you're looking to do, then absolutely do that. But for me, I, I like to listen to a variety. I want to make sure that symphonic music sounds like symphonic music. I want to hear some piano. I want to hear some pop vocal. I want to hear some jazz. I might listen to Holly to Holly Cole or Diana Krall because I like some of their music. I, I really do. Um, it's not it's not my favorite. I don't listen to it all the time, but I do listen to it. So I will let somebody throw on, um, you know, some vocal jazz, but maybe something that's a little bit more challenging. But can I can I just add on to it? In a nutshell, you would not use just female vocal jazz to make conclusion. Oh God, no. That's what you're trying to say. No, I I, I, I I want it as a piece of the puzzle, but my puzzle, it, in my puzzle, it's not like the center image. It's like kind of up towards the top right-hand corner. Yep, and you've you got to have many puzzles to fill in the whole picture. Yep. So, next. Yeah. Unless... Unless you're dealing with, unless you're you're using like, unless you're using using a movement for from um, a symphony, uh, a symphony or a concerto or something like that that's really long, I don't recommend that you use really really short segments of music to judge, because what happens is you wind up listening to that segment of music over and over and over and over again. And your brain starts to give you funny messages. It starts to predict what that that music's going to sound like, and you lose your objectivity. You know, in as other, you say. In other words, your brain start start to sing the song. Yeah. So you, your ears don't hear anymore because yep. w when I was learning how to do make some music, one of the one of the trap is if you work on that piece of music too long, walk away, work on another piece of music, come back the next day. Otherwise, your brain will start filling in. Feeling in the yep. the spot that you're not supposed to feel in. Yep, absolutely. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, you don't have to listen to twenty minutes of music if you don't want to. I mean, if you're really enjo really enjoying it, and you've got the time, and 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 your dealer's got the time, well, go ahead, listen to it. I mean, that's that's what part of the experience is like. And if you can stay engaged in a piece of music for twenty minutes, well, that says something good about what you're listening to. Generally speaking. Two, three minutes is enough to give you an idea. Um, and, and you know, don't, that's, that's something I don't have. Don't try and force yourself to like something. If you're not enjoying it, you're not enjoying it. Don't make yourself try and like it just because it's, it's, a, it's a brand name or it's on sale or something silly like that. Oh, like, you write enough good reviews. Yeah. 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 Don't, well, that, that goes, that, that one's coming. Just hold on a second. Mm. <laughs> Number six, when you listen to a system, as much as possible, listen with an open mind and, and open ears, right? Um, go, go, and, go and evaluate on what you're hearing. I mean, don't look at the speakers and go, oh, that's a, you know, that's a ribbon tweeter. I don't like ribbon tweeters, you know? Don't look at an amplifier and go, oh, those are, you know, those are uh, KT120 tubes. I don't like KT120 tubes. It, just listen to it. Let the system tell you what it is and who it is and, and, and what its personality is. And who knows? You, might, you, you, may, you may look at it and go, I was right. I didn't like it. But at least give it the chance or give yourself the chance because you never know. Not all of these implementations of things sound the same.
Mm-hmm. Same yeah. part, same part can sound different. Yep. Yep. Uh, here's the one you were waiting for. Don't feel obliged to agree with other people about what sounds good. It's, we all, look, there's, there's, there's a, a whole bunch of things that, I mean, different people like different music and have different rooms and different tastes and uh, blah, blah, blah. But you got these things on the side of your head called ears, right? And everybody's ears are a little bit differently. And somehow in the wiring, there's a whole bunch of wiring in here, and these connect to your brain. And your brain has learned how it likes to hear music, what it thinks music ha- should sound like. So... I've had it happen so often where people will be in a room and they just do not like their friends and they get along and they're good friends because they're, you know, a couple of guys come and check out audio, right? And one likes a pair of speakers and one does not like, like a pair of speakers and they argue back and forth about which speakers are better. Well, neither speaker is better. The one you like the best is better for you. So that that's one thing. And when I was young, but when I was in Hong Kong, teenage, walking to a store, you get this elder telling you what to listen, how to listen. You know, you should listen to this and that. It's like, uh, if you cannot hear it, you can actually just say that you couldn't hear it. Yeah. Or just keep your mouth shut and walk away because there are lots of people trying to give you their opinion, whether you can, whether they're right or wrong. It's just opinion. It's you. You are the one that put the money down to buy something that you have to decide whether you like it or not. Now, somebody, if somebody else buys for you, take it if it's free. But <laughs> you can, you can always, sell you it. can always sell it. <laughs> you can always sell it. But, but if you have to put money down to buy it for yourself, trust your own ears. Mm-hmm. Your opinion is yours, and it's it's your opinion that's getting the benefit of what the money yes, you spend. It's your so. your opinion that's only opinions opinions that count yep. for you. And the last one. Yeah, that's, this, not, that's not our last one. This is a, this last is a, one for the day. Last one for the day. And this is, this is a little bit tricky. And I, Try to listen to music. Try not, if, you, if at all possible, try to give yourself a chance to listen to music. Try not to listen for sound. Um, I remember wasting so much time when I, when I first was auditioning audio equipment, like, oh, decades ago. And, and I, you know, I'd listen to a little bit of, little piece of music, and I'd be listening for this one place where, uh, let me think, one of, the, one of the things I used to use to listen to, and I still use it, but I use different tracks in different areas. There's a Robbie, Robbie Williams album called, is it Robbie Williams? Swing While You're, Swing While You're Winning, or something like that. And uh, there, was, um, there was a track on it, called I Will Talk and Hollywood Listens. And it's a nice track, but I just used to listen for this one part where above the right-hand speaker, there was this moment where a triangle would appear. And and I would listen to this incessantly. I'd listen to like three or four different pairs of speakers and wait for the triangle to be in the right place. And it's, you know, because I'd heard it once in the right place before. What is the right place? There is no right place. Yeah, that's my point. It depends on the speaker, depends on the room, depends on so many things. But here's the whole, the, the point is, while I was waiting for that triangle to happen, I was missing everything else. I was missing the oboe solo. I was missing the, the string entry. I was missing the quality of the vocals, the dynamics, the, the phrasing. I was missing all of that music, just waiting to hear for this one thing. And I and I hear so many people do that, and and and... I gently, tactfully try and try and suggest that they they not do that. But sometimes it's hard because people are like I, you know I just I just want to hear the opening of this. Like, so you only listening to the op- you only listen to the first thirty seconds and you don't listen to the rest. Like that's that. I mean that's that's like uh, you know point and click music consumption. And maybe people do that, right? I I don't, but maybe people do that where they just clip through a whole they just jump through a whole bunch I, of different clips i think the most important thing is yes we all do yeah that's have some merit to it yeah but we we can't just use that yeah to make 
conclusion of the peace agreement. No, that to me that's more a diagnostic thing as opposed yes. to an auditioning type yes. of thing. Yes, we right? we in fact we actually just did. Yeah. But because we heard that little piece of music, five seconds, that has have a little little room acoustic issues. Yeah. We repeat it again. So, yeah. but that's a diagnosis. It's more like science and something wrong that you yeah. want to hear it and you want to fix it, not to make final judgment of the piece of equipment. No, and that's us going through like five pairs of speakers and three different or four different amplifiers in in in, in three different setups in two hours. Right. That's yeah. us yeah. just trying to point and click. But yeah, and that 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 that. that if you do that, again, that would be back to the, the previous point to say, like, um, when you listen to the piece of music too long, then you do, just, your, your, brain, your brain start to sing the song, so you don't actually hear anymore. Right, right. So, uh, and, and the other thing, too, is you're not, I mean, I don't know, and if you, now, again, you should audition the way you listen. So if you, uh, if you listen, if truly your thing is to listen to 30 and 40 second clips, and, and that's your thing, then that's fine. But if you're listening to music, then you need to audition and, and, and you need to listen to music. Like you need to listen to, you know. Because uh, music, music is so much more than sound. Yeah, it's, it's, it's emotion. And, and the, the, at the end of the day, if you're, if you're sitting like this, sort of listening for things, it's probably not your system. But there are, there are people who do that, but yeah. they're not necessarily music lover, not necessarily yeah. audio file. Yeah. Their jobs are like that because they listen to sound. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I know somebody actually sit in front of a, a piece of machinery, sometimes like yeah. engine, listen to something right or wrong by the sound. Yep. But that's a job. Yeah. Yeah. You're, if you're, if you're, I mean, to me, the, when, when I know people are happy, here in my shop, when I know people are listening to something they're enjoying, they're back, they're relaxed, and part of their body, their head is moving, their foot is moving, their fingers are tapping. There's movement and enjoyment and engagement. And it's not about, it's not about any more about listening for that triangle above the right hand, right hand tweeter. It's about just letting the music wash over them and feeling an emotional yeah, you're not response. Listening, you're not listening to sound anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you stop listening to sound, that's probably... In my again, in my experience, in my in whatever experience I had, when people are just sitting and enjoying music, that's when they're that's when they found what they're looking for, because they've forgotten about having to listen for sound. If you if you have to listen for sound, then you're searching for something that I think is not there. Yeah, and that's yeah. A, and the, that that could be a next topic of the video is if you already have a system and trying to justify something good out of it or out of it by listening to sound. Yeah, and that, that's not kind of right. No, no. But that's next time. Yep. We're getting long. Yep. Okay, I think that's it for now. So yeah. happy listening. Um, you know, uh, if, you, if, you want, if you need to talk about this, if you want to ask questions, if you want have comments. And again, I'd love to hear other people's suggestions. Put them in the comment section of YouTube. If you've got time, drop over and come and have a listen. That's it. Stay in the time. <laughs> It is dinner time. <laughs>